Look around, folks. Shit is changing. The way we do business, the way people are going to work, the way we have careers, that's all changing right in front of you right now. And I'm here to tell you that the shit you're learning ain't going to change. It's either there is no markets or everything I'm teaching you will keep fucking working. So stop worrying about that. Use the time. Pour into yourself. Invest in yourself. Because the only thing you're doing is kicking the can down the road farther and farther by you not just tearing into this saying, I'm going to do this. It's going to probably take more time than I want it to, but it's okay. Because I have set a resolve in my heart, in my spirit, in my mind. I'm not changing. I'm not deviating. And a motherfucker out there is going to tell me that this ain't for me because I know it is. The more somebody tells me it ain't for me, the more I'm in love with it. It just means that you can't fucking do it, and it's going to be even more better once I get there and you get to witness it. And I don't have to rub your fucking nose into it. You're just going to see me live better by it. That's the best revenge. That's the best revenge for your naysayers, the people that say you aren't going to be successful at this. Don't bother. You're going to lose your money. You're going to do this. You're going to waste all this fucking time. Laugh at these motherfuckers under your breath. Two years from now, shit's going to be different for you. It's going to be totally different for you. Everybody else is going to be struggling to find another way to make their fucking ends meet. You got this. You got this. Every fucking Monday to Friday, there's an opportunity for me. Just like there's a work day for everybody else. In a couple days, everybody's going to fucking work on Monday. And they had to fucking work until Friday just to get the same thing that they got the previous week. Time stolen, you prostituted your life for somebody else to say, this is what you were worth to me. And what did you lose in the process? You didn't see your wife, you didn't see your husband, you didn't see your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your kids, your friends. You didn't have peace of mind or relaxation whatsoever. You're fucking stressed out because you're in debt and you have no way out. Folks, it isn't for everybody, but for everybody that wants to dig their heels into it, it is for you. It is for you. And don't let anybody tell you that you can't do this. You can. It's hard as fuck to get through what you do to yourself. When you stand in front of yourself and you say, what's the point of me doing this? Or I failed yesterday. Or, I failed last week. That's where I just give up. Who's stopping you? The market didn't. Your friends aren't right. Your coworkers aren't right. Carl's not right about you failing in this and also just warm up and tie yourself up to the company just like he is company man Carl it's you you have the control of sticking with this come hell or high water until you get it or stopping there's nothing out there folks there's nothing out there that's going to be an impediment to you succeeding but you it's just time and effort you have to make an effort an honest effort not, well, I took some notes and five pages of, five pages of scribble bullshit and ICT's full of shit because you know, here's my proof. Here's my notes. Get the fuck out of here. Get out of here. That's not, that's not effort. That's bullshit. Getting in here, showing up every day, doing back testing, getting data collected. How many times does this form? How many times does it perform? How many times does it develop a setup at this specific time? How many times does that happen over the course of a week, of a month, in the course of a year with one asset? And realistically think to yourself, if you just got one of those opportunities over the course of the week and you stopped, you exercised due diligence and discipline and said, I don't need to do more. I don't have the experience yet. So if I can get this, I'll stop and study the rest of the week and go at it again the following week. That's a winning trader. That's a fucking market maven. That's somebody that has absolute control over themselves when 99.9 .9 motherfucking percent 99% of these fucking traders out there, whether they're profitable or not, they don't really have control of themselves. When I was becoming a student of the markets in 1992, really putting an effort into it, not when I was 15 years old by my uncle showing me charts. If I wanted to be real and tell you when I really started looking at price and shit like that, it would be when I was 15. I'm not being, in my opinion, genuine enough to say, okay, my concern, because I didn't give a fuck at that time at 15 years old i was worried about martial arts and, and girls that's what i was worried about so markets were completely alien to me i didn't care but when i started working a job and hated it wasn't making very much money 
it fell into my lap again saying, okay, well, there's probably a sign to this. You know, I, I turned my nose to it. My uncle talked about it. He made money with it. So, you know, apparently I must be meant to do this. So I reacted and started digging into it in 1992. But it wasn't until November 5th of 1992 on a Thursday evening at 9 p.m. in my aunt and uncle's family room. That was the that was the moment. That was the very birth of Inner Circle Trader. That was the day I said, I am going to learn how to do this. I might not be a success in real estate. I might not be a success in sports. You know, I maybe never opened up a martial arts dojo like I wanted to when I was a teenager. And there's a lot of things I thought I was going to do and, and some of the things I tried to do and failed. And I just said, I'm not interested in those things anymore. This, this here, I never said I fucking give up. I had to quit and take breaks because I just couldn't, I couldn't deal with the pressure I was placing on myself. And maybe that's what you do too. But quitting is not a fucking option. You have already been infected with this. So you might as well just fucking roll your sleeves up and say, okay, I know I want to do this. I know everybody else around me says it's bullshit. It's a pipe dream. It's going to be so hard to learn how to do it. And guess what? Everybody that's ever made money in this thought the same thing and their friends and family and influences around them were saying the same thing. What was the difference? They told them to go fuck themselves. I'm not listening to you. You didn't do this and, and make money and or you didn't do this and fail and learn anything from it. You're just telling me from your fucking Carl perspective, you're a nine to fiver. Okay. You're a 401k American dream. Get into a fucking 30 year mortgage debt, pay all this fucking interest and consider that success. I don't listen to people like that. I've never listened to motherfuckers that do that. If you're going to work and you have a good job, you aren't a fucking mentor to me. If you have a good career and you go to work for somebody else, you're not a fucking mentor to me. Because you're not going to teach me any fucking thing that I want to do. I never wanted to fucking work for these people that I worked for. I never wanted to work for them. I never wanted to do that. I wanted to go to school, get an education, computer science, information systems specializing, and be a systems analyst. And I wanted to get some experience at a firm and then I was going to branch off and have my own firm. I was going to do that. That was what I was going to do. My my whole point of living this adult life was to be an entrepreneur, my own person. Fuck working for somebody else. And this right here, my friends, this right here, this industry that you're listening to this goofball talk to you about right now that sounds like he's hopped up on fucking goofballs. This is the last bastion of free enterprise. <laughs>